Hi students, Namaskaram. Now we are solving a practical problem on computation of correlation. Calculate calculations correlation coefficient. We are given two variables, price and demand. We are entering into its solution. First of all, take the price variable as x and demand variable as y. Put this in two columns. First column x, second column y. Get its summation. Sigma x is equal to 155. Sigma y is equal to 239. Compute its arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean of x, x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n. That is 155 divided by 10. We get 15.5 as x bar. Then mean of y variable, y bar is equal to sigma y divided by n. That is 239 divided by 10. We get 23.9. Now we have 15.5 as mean of x variable and 23.9 as mean of y variable. Here we have x bar 15.5 and y bar 23.9. Random fractions. That is the same assumed mean method. Here we are computing correlation under assumed mean method. X variable ile 15, Y variable ile 23, assumed mean method. 15.5 ne tottu munnumulla poorna sankhya 15. X inde assumed mean aayittu. Y variable ne sambandham jerthola 23.9 munnumulla 23 assumed mean method. Assumed mean in the case of X 15 and in the case of y, 23. Third column, deviation of values from assumed mean, dx. Deviation of x values from assumed mean, x minus assumed mean 15. First, 11 minus 15, we get minus 4. 12 minus 15, minus 3. 13 minus 15 minus 2 and so on minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 get its summation we get sigma dx 5 then dx square square the deviations minus 4 square 16 minus 3 square 9 minus 2 square 4 and so on. 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25. Get its summation. Sigma dx square 85. Then compute deviation of y values from assumed mean 23. dy. 30 minus 23. 7. 29 minus 23. 6. 29 minus 23. 6. And so on. 2, 1, 1, 1, minus 2, minus 5, minus 8. Get its summation. Sigma dy. It is 9. Then square the deviations. dy square. 7 square 49. 6 square 36. And so on. 36, 4, 1, 1, 1, 4, 25. 64. Get the summation of dy square. Sigma dy square. 221. Then multiply both deviations. dx into dy. Minus 4 into 7. Minus 28. Minus 3 into 6. Minus 18. Minus 2 into 6. Minus 12. And so on. We get minus 2. 0. 1. 2. Minus 6. Minus 20, minus 40. Then get its summation. Sigma dx dy. We get minus 123. 
Now we have sigma dx dy minus 123, sigma dx 5, sigma dy 9, sigma dx square 85, sigma dy square 229 and the number of pairs 10. Then apply equation. Shortcut method. Assume mean method. Correlation R is equal to sigma dx dy by n minus sigma dx by n into sigma dy by n all divided by square root of sigma dx square by n minus sigma dx by n all square into square root of sigma dy square by n minus sigma dy by n all square. That is minus 123 divided by 10 minus 5 divided by 10 into 9 divided by 10 divided by square root of 85 by 10 minus 5 by 10 all square into 221 divided by 10 minus 9 by 10 all square. Now we get R is equal to minus 12.3 minus 0.45 divided by square root of 8.5 minus 0.25 into 22.1 minus 0.81. That is minus 12.75 divided by square root of 8.25 into 21.29. That is R is equal to minus 12.75 divided by 13.253. Our final answer correlation coefficient minus 0.962. This is the answer. So thank you.